so I've been thinking of making this video for a while, but um, I'm going to do it now. Um, these are just going to be some really good uh, full blind tricks for wings. Well, I might throw some other stuff in there, but wings are the only part really where you need to know some tricks. And so, yeah. Again. So I'm going to start off with all the really easy advanced R2 cases that you don't really need to put that much thought into at all. So, um, basically, if we look at this cycle, we've got here to here to here, which would usually solve like this, and then long, four move insert, which is pretty long. I uh, prefer to do something faster. Well, if you know how cycles work, and I'll show you on a 5x5 five five, because it has wings as well. Here to here, if the piece is set up to here, you'll always be able to do one of these easy two cases. So with a lot of pieces on the cube, if it's convenient in one move, I'd say it's probably quite useful to be able to just set this up with one move like that. And just do an M2 case. Another kind of advanced R2 case you should learn is um, when you've got uh, two on the same layer and either both on the inside or both on the outside so for this we've got here to here so they're both on the outside and so they can be interchanged on here and um, so when they're on the outside we know we're going to do an, an insert like that so we'll bring the first one up to the top do that insert bring the second one up to the top and do the insert so if I just Show you how that would work on a different thing and this is another example so here they're on the L face they're both on the outside so we'll do L to bring this first one to the top do the insert and then L2 to bring the other one to the top and do the insert and then there's one last move to fix it and uh, you should be able to apply the same thing for the inner ones so here to here to here this is like this Right, the next ones you should learn are these ones that transfer over from advanced M2 on 3x3. So for example, the stuff that goes to here first with M2, you can do M2, do the insert, M, and do the insert, M. And then when it's second, you can do M prime, do the insert, M prime, undo the insert, undo. And then for X back here, um, it's the same thing, but the other way around, so the M is the other way. So here I'm going to do M2, insert, M prime, undo, M prime. Uh, so that does apply to R2, as you can see, like if I go here to here, um, I can do these again. And I think that can save a lot of times because generally L's on like R and L slices I think are pretty nice for full blind. After that there's a lot of stuff that helps you deal with Q which has a really long insert that you really don't want to do. So when it's to like one of these outer targets on R and L, I typically just do a U2 and set up to one of these cases. If it's something like let's say here to here, I'll just do a U-move and set them up so I can do one of these. The only other ones I do um, are when it goes to here, here or here. Those, those aren't great but I just kind of rotate to here and do an E insertion like that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd really recommend that. It's not even the optimal comms for that set, but like, it's. It gets a comm done and it saves two long hours. Another way you can p apply the uh, advanced R2 tricks is when you have something like here to here. Um, I think it's quite optimal to just do a U here and then into one of these cases. Uh, that can be pretty good. Um, same goes for uh, when it's here. Um, if I was on 3x3 three three and trying to come up with something, I could do like this. But I think these uh, F slices are pretty bad, so I would probably instead just opt for doing something like that. 
Another really good cycle to know is things like QW. Since uh, four blind has kind of two layers, inner layers, um, this works. So we can do D2 interchange and insert like that. And that can save a lot, and I'll show you how. Right, so here I have KC, which uh, it's not really great. Um, you have to do R2 long ALG, no, L2 long ALG, L long ALG, L. Uh, but instead, you can just do L2, and look, it's gone from KC to QW, which means you can do this really easy ALG again. Turned into 10 moves, which is way nicer. The only ones that are kind of annoying are um, stuff like KQ, and again, there isn't something great. I do a U prime, and then an L, and then I could still do one of these kind of ones. It's just not as nice. I'm just going to go over what I do for this one as well, which is that. not great but again it gets to come done and it saves you from doing the long alg four times right so this is not a great case um a to q uh you'd have to do the long alg um if you know on three by three this long five move insert like that that's pretty useful here because you can use it like this so those moves are u2 wide L prime, U2, wide L, U2, and that does a 5 move insert. So if I've got A, I'll just go to A first, do the 5 move insert, which does a 5 move insert, do the M2, and that does that. So it's really good to see what kind of case this does, because it's one of these ones where you've got both in the same piece, which you may realise is going to be pretty useful. And you've got something like this. Here, I've got NT. Boom. That's quite a long ALG, but it's easy thing to just get a com out of it. Another thing I think this is really useful for is um, getting A to any of the... Uh, L slice targets except K. I'll show you what I do for K in a minute, but just set that up. Do that com and undo. Now for KA, I actually still do it with normal M2 using the long insert. But when I get to the end like, like this, I just do an M2, which saves a move. So I just kind of left it how it is. Last thing I do is I just put some pretty easy comms in there. So some examples would be just here I've got NJ and if you know what's interchangeable you'll know that I rotate because it makes it just an R slice. And so if I have so if you know NJ FR they're interchangeable and PHLT they, they're all interchangeable on this layer then when you get a pair like that it's pretty easy to just quickly rotate and do a 8 or 9 move com to sort them out and that's pretty sure basically my um tricks for 4x4 wings uh, hopefully that was a bit helpful uh, it will make it, it basically makes my execution kind of bordering on knowing just kind of bad decent kind of three style but obviously it's not going to be as optimal as like ufr fur maybe even ufl but um i think this definitely helps a bit so yeah hopefully this can help with your full blind solves